Test. Test. There we go. And now we add an echo. Hold on. Check. 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 Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. It's gonna be one of those days, guys. Give me one second. There we go. Fuck. Every time either Streamlabs doesn't update or Windows doesn't update, my shit gets fucked up. So I had no sound coming from the sound card originally. And now we had no sound from the microphone because my computer just lost the ability to uh, listen to the microphone and the sound card. Nice, isn't it? Technology. I would love to go back to the 80s where we had no cell phones and computers, man. I'm just telling you. <laughs> Progress is going backwards. All right. Welcome to the off season. Um, it took a few days to uh, think about what I wanted to do here because I was not having uh, the desired effect and outcome and not enough people watching and not enough people commenting and and uh, I had to decide what I want to do. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this shit for myself. And if people watch, they watch. If they don't watch, I don't fucking care anymore. So um, I'm just going to produce it for myself. And uh, you guys want to watch, you want to come along for the ride, great. If you don't, go find someone else. <clears throat> um, so this is what happened last year. We won 101 games, and we lost in the NLDS for the second season in a row. Um, our our pitching was good. Our hit well outside of the bullpen was kind of iffy. Hitting was great. Arenado hit 293. <clears throat> Edmund hit 271 with 17 and 38. Naylor hit 300 again with 27 bombs. Jordan Walker had a breakout year, hit 318 with 36 homers and 120 RBI. Nolan Gorman was one RBI shy of 100, hit 35 home runs, hit 292. Mason Wynn had a just shy of a 2020 season. Uh, Donovan led the National League in hitting at 329 with 17 home runs. Newt Barr had a down year. Uh, Wilson Contreras hit 22 home runs, his most since 2022, and he hit 298. So, you know, our, our hitters did great, um, and our pitchers were okay. Um, let me show you what happened here. Um, so, Adam Duvall, Whit Merrifield, Aroldis Chapman, Giovanni Gallegos, Steve Matz all became free agents. I didn't bring them back. I just fast forwarded to get through that uh, qualified offer time frame. Um, I also, where it says purchase the contract, that means Cooper Yerpe, Michael Curiali, Thomas Segezi, and Andrew Painter were all added to the 40 man roster. That's what it means when you purchase the contract. They're on the 40-man roster. And I offered a contract and arbitration to John King just to get that taken care of and done. He's just a end-of-the-bullpen guy, AAA, major league, you know, swing guy. Um, Painter is going to be uh, trying to get the number five spot in the rotation. Uh, Segesi's going to stay in, the, in AAA for part of the year or the whole year. We'll see. If there's an injury in the infield, he's coming up. Uh, Yerpy's going to, uh, go to spring training with us and then go back to AAA. And then the shortstop, um, I just wanted him, 
in case we had an injury, I could bring him up. So that's what we have for some pre moves. Um, I also went in and tendered contracts to all these guys. Um, so it's a lot of time saving. We don't have to worry about watching me do all this. I just went in and offered contracts to all of our minor leaguers. Um, we only had one guy for arbitration and 40 man. Like I said, we added those five guys and we still have three empty spots. I am not going to add anybody else. Um, Ragic, I'm probably that second guy, Ragic. We're probably going to trade him. Um, I have a list of pitchers. Let's go to starting pitchers. So we have these three guys coming back from last year. We lost Scherzer and we lost Mats. So we got to get two spots filled in our rotation. Um, Painter is the guy that I want to bring up as the number five. Um, hence, right now, he doesn't have to go on the 40-man. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to mess with putting him on the 40-man because all of the – Yerpy is now on the 40-man, so we can let him come up to the majors – and pitch in spring training. Shaver, Smith Shaver's on the 40 man. Uh, Graceffo and McGreevy are on the 40 man, but they are not in my future plans, so I'm going to trade them today. Okay. We had a we have a lot of young pitchers. We have Painter, Cutliff, who was a first first round pick, Tink Hentz, who's the Cardinals best pitching prospect right now in real life. Jim Lindsay, who is a C, he's getting close to his maxed out level. Um <clears throat> He could be a guy if Painter doesn't work. We could bring him up and let him be the five. Takoa Roby, we got him from the Rangers in a trade in real life last year. Um, he is very close to giving a shot to come to the majors. Smith Shaver is not doing much. I mean, his, his his ratings are in a decent spot, but he really hasn't progressed enough, really. Um, so he might be a swing guy. I might use him out of the uh, bullpen. Depends. We don't have a lot of arms in the bullpen in our minor leagues that are very good. Um, I'm going to try and trade Graceffo and McGreevy. Um, I could get a really good player for these guys, but I'm probably going to trade them off individually and try and get bullpen help. Darren Sellers, we drafted this last year. He was that surprise guy that we, we found in week 13 of, of Discovery. So, and Ragic's going to get traded. Uh, we got a bunch of other guys down here just cooking still, so... But Painter, Cutliff, Hence, Lindsey, Roby, Yerpy, those guys, Sellers, those guys are all in our future. Um, but Graceffo and McGreevy and Ragic are probably all going to get dealt this offseason. Ragic, I'm going to trade just so I don't have to put him on the 40 man roster. See the bullpen. We got some good guys. This guy's not on the 40 man. He's going to stay in the minors. He's only 20 years old. Um, I want to add at least one more bullpen arm. And. Uh, Reyes, I don't think he needs to go on the 40-man yet. No. See where it says Rule 5 eligible over there in the bottom right-hand corner? <clears throat> if that says yes, then you got to put him on the 40-man or you'll lose him in the Rule 5 draft. So right now, he's just going to stay there. Um, got plenty of catching. Um, Ramirez is just a, a bench bat at this point. These guys are too old. We got a lot of old first basemen, so if we can find a young first baseman in a draft, that would be nice. Um, we're good at second base. This is a guy we took in the first round last year. I'm going to have him play in double A. <clears throat> and you're going to go to single A. Um, Martinez, we traded for him before. His bat is better against lefties and righties, so he's, he's probably going to go back to triple A. And, and try and develop that. Um, shortstop, got plenty of youth here at short. We're good. Uh, we could use some more youth in the outfield. Church is an A potential, but he's already 25, and he's really got nothing that he's outstanding at. Victor Scott, his problem is his contact needs to be in the 70s before he's worth anything. Elijah Green is still cooking down in the minors. Might shift him to right. I don't know. <clears throat> Don't have a whole lot in right field over here. So, but anyway, we, we've got a lot of uh, age throughout the whole organization. So, I need to get some younger players. But we're going to get rid of some of these starting pitchers because starting pitchers are always easy to draft. 
And if I have no plans for Graceffa or McGreevy or Ragic playing in a major league level, we're going to ship them off and get something else that will be useful at the major league level. Um, I think McGreevy is on the 40 man. Yeah, so two of them are on the 40 man. So we'll open up. We won't really open up new spots in the 40 man. We're just going to go get two guys that we can put in the bullpen specifically that are on the 40 man and give us a chance to. Uh, Close out some games better than we did last year, even though we won 101 games. I think our bullpen could be better. Um, so, free agency wise, I have gone in and made a few offers. Uh, I'd like to bring Duvall back cheap. I'll, I'll bump that up as we go. Um, he's good power off the bench. Uh, Rangifo would basically replace Merrifield. He can play second, short, third, and all three outfield, just can't play first or catcher. And he crushes lefties. So that's that's good. And does he have any quirks? Yeah. Let's see, last year he hit 16 home runs. So I'll try and bring him in as a bench player. And then Framber Valdez is the guy I really want. Need a left-handed stud in our rotation. And you can see right here, 15 and 8, 14 and 11, 12 and 11, 17 and 6. ERAs in under 4. Um, hits below innings pitched every single year. Doesn't give up a ton of home runs. <clears throat> so, and he's got a couple of quirks, which is good. So, Fromber's the guy. Houston's only offering him a one-year deal. I'm going to give him a three-year deal. Um, originally, I had offered Zach Gallon a deal. It was five years at $90 million, But I have decided to not do this, even though I really would like to. Um, let me show you something here. So Arenado's got two years and he's done. Sonny Gray's on the last year of his contract. He is regressing a little bit. I'm going to keep him. I was thinking about trading him off. Um, I can trade Sonny Gray and one of my outfielders and some minor leaguers, and I could get either Aaron Judge or Fernando Tatis. Easily I can get one of those guys. But I'm not going to do that. We're going to play Gray and let him go, and then we're going to bring up these these uh, young players. Instead of filling my rotation with a bunch of older guys just to win, um, I want to bring them in and let them. So we're going to have one of them be the number five this year. He'll move up to number four next year. We'll bring in another one. Hopefully it's Tink Hentz. And he can, he can step in as the number five, and then maybe two more years we can get Cutliff up that left that we drafted in the first round. And he can step in and replace uh, probably Walker Bueller. Um, if you look at the salaries there, once we get past 2028, we have nothing. <laughs> we have no one really under contract. It's Jordan Walker, Bibi, Bibi, Win. Um, so basically, we have a two year window here to try and win with the veterans we have. Um, I'm hoping either Victor Scott or some other outfielder we draft can step in and play this center field spot, or we'll just go get a free agent. <clears throat> um, I'm give us three years to find a first baseman. Um, then Bueller would go away. Romano would go away. We get another closer. JoJo's young enough. He'll stick around. Ramirez is going to be gone after this year. Newt Barr is going to be 30. And it really depends on how he's playing and what else is out there. Um, Donovan's going to be over 30. So as great as he is at hitting right now, I don't want to pay for a 30-plus-year-old guy that's no power. It's just all bat. Jordan Walker, we're going to have to pay. Nolan Gorman, we're going to have to pay. <clears throat> so we're going to save some cash to pay these guys 25 mil a year. Um but instead of uh, slapping veteran free agent band-aids on a problem, um, we are going to trust our young pitchers and let them develop, bring them up, and um, hopefully they'll be good to go. In the next two, three years, we'll have those guys in the rotation. Um, it's kind of pointless to draft a bunch of pitchers and get a bunch of young pitchers and never use them. So... <clears throat> not going to be the Yankees or the Dodgers. So, anyway, 
that's the that's the plan which is affecting how I'm going to do free agency. So I'm not going to offer Blake Snell, Michael King, Dylan C, Zach Gallen, Kyle Tucker. We're just we're going after Fromber and a couple of backup guys, and we're going to use our young players and get those guys in and have some young players that we can watch develop and have fun with. So that is our plan. So first thing I'm going to do is make a deal. We've already looked at this. <clears throat> we can trade Ragic. Now, in real life, they would never make this deal, but he is not rated as highly in this game. Mason Miller is not rated as highly in this game. Doesn't pitch as well. Um, but we're going to make this deal. I'll give them a young pitcher. They have a young closer down here. They also have Zach Jackson. Oakland's going nowhere. Look at this. This is the guy that we wanted in that first draft. And he pitched great. Only 95 hits in 121 innings. So he was the dude. We just couldn't get him. So we're going to give them a, a uh, young pitcher. Maybe I'll give them a little extra. What do you think? Let's let's throw in another one. Let's throw in this guy at the bottom. That's uh, only He's a 56. We'll make that deal. So Ragic and Sanchez for Mason Miller. That's done. And the next one, we're going to take somebody off the Orioles. We're going to trade Graceffo. For Cano, 26 years old for a 32-year-old, but Cano has three years of arbitration left. So we're going to get at least three years out of him. His case per nine are a little low, but everything else is high. <clears throat> and we're going to make that deal. And I need to trade McGreevy. And I just want a prospect. I want somebody that's not on the 40-man. <clears throat> You get an outfielder, that would be awesome. Let's see what we can get. Jose Bruno. And Ornelas. I don't want Ornelas. Take Bruno. Is he on the 40 man? No. Wow, his pitching clutch is terrible. Well, let's not do that. Don't need Luciano. Would really like an outfielder. Preferably not <clears throat> 25 years old. And not a center fielder. We don't need a center fielder. We need a left fielder or a right fielder. Get a 21 year old reliever and a 19 year old first baseman. Keen and Chavez. Let's go check out the Mariners. Keen's got power, okay. And he's got terrible pitching clutch. What is with all these bad pitching clutch guys? My goodness. Anybody else we can steal off these guys? Not this guy. Nope. How about if we don't take the first baseman and just make the deal for the right fielder? No. Okay. Okay. Get yeah, Juan Francisco. Is that, that's a dude that we uh, tried to get in the draft. It's 22. Can't field worth a shit. He's got great contact. You know what? I'm going to do this deal just to give us a uh, a young guy that's in the outfield in the minors. So there we go. So 
So we traded Max Radic and Doug Sanchez to the A's for Mason Miller, Gordon Graceffo to the Orioles for Yenner Can Yenner Can Yenner Cano, Michael McGreevy to the Ranger for Juan Francisco. So that clears out some room so the rest of these guys can progress up. Need to move Cano to just a straight reliever. And Mason Miller, move him to straight reliever. Three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's 12. Yeah, that's our uh, bullpen right there. Thompson and Miller can throw long relief. These guys can set up. He's closing. Got four starters here. <clears throat> Let me save this. And uh, let's go see. 37 and now if we add these three guys that would give us 40 so Valdez, Rangifo and Duvall so let's see if we can get Fromber <clears throat> we'll advance the date Devin Williams goes to the Yankees wow anybody else alright we signed a bunch of our own guys here just a shit ton of guys re-signed. Okay. Still got a lot of guys to go. Alright, got a third base coach. Still holding on Fromber. No one else is coming in on there. Okay. <clears throat> All right. And now we got to offer these guys a deal. Let's give him three years. At two mil per. He'll take that. Mason Miller. We'll go four years. 3.5. And we won't offer arbitration until we have to. All right, got a farm director, and there we go, Fromber Valdez. <clears throat> Fromber Valdez, the newest Cardinal pitcher. He's going to step in as our number one. He's going to slide Gray and Bybee and Bueller down. Wow, Bueller ought to do really well pitching as a number four. And then Painter comes in as five, and then these guys are all going to be competing to uh, come up for Painter if he struggles or if we get an injury. So I don't need to add Hence or Roby to the 40-man until I'm ready to call him up. Um, Hence is going to be in AAA this year. He's going to stay in AA another year. AA. Yerpy's going to AAA. So, <clears throat> and Sellers will go to AA. Airpiece going to AAA. Hence is going to AAA. <coughs> you can go to AA. All right. So that's where we stand with all of that. So we got Fromber. Thank God. All right. We've got a stud lefty now. So we just need to add those two bench bats, finish our guys that are on the team already that are renewable or arbitration or free agent. And uh, what we're going to do is when we go to spring training, I'm going to player lock with Painter and Yerpy and any other young player, Sagesi. We're going we're gonna to play with the young guys, not the veterans, and see how these guys play. We'll just do a few games. I'm not going to do the entire spring. We usually just skip spring training, but we're going to actually look at some of the young guys and uh, get a preview of them and then... Um, We'll start the season. I don't know if we'll start tomorrow. It'll be next week, but I just want to get this off season over with and done. <clears throat> All 
All right, we had two guys sign. So Cano takes that deal to avoid arbitration. Somebody else. King. So King took his deal. Cano took his deal. <clears throat> so now we just need Mason Miller to take that one. And uh, we, let's make him an offer. Good. All right, so that looks really good there. We get those other two guys. That will give us 40 guys in the 40 man. <clears throat> I don't mind giving them more. I want these guys in here. We have the money. Just get them signed. There we go. We signed Adam Duvall. So now we're just waiting on Rengifo to take this deal. <clears throat> Those three guys to sign their deal. Mason Miller to sign his deal. I'll offer him arbitration. Lane Thomas goes to the Pirates. Okay. Let's see who else has been signed. Blake Snell goes back to the Giants. Woodruff goes back to the Brewers. Strom to the Blue Jays. Lane Thomas to the Pirates. Trent Grisham to the Royals. These are all resignings. J.D. Davis to the Dodgers. <clears throat> Everybody's resigning. Jorge Lopez to the Blue Jays. Vlad Guerrero is not getting much offered. Bo Bichette, Will Smith, King, Paddock. Where did uh where did Tucker go? Back to the Astros. <laughs> wow. That was a big deal. Okay. And how do we have extra guys? have to cut somebody don't want to cut any relievers but we may go ahead and do it Kyle Leahy is the oldest one plus he's making half a million <clears throat> still waiting on these four guys and Ringifo. Now we're down to two. Hold on a sec. Is anybody else going after him? No. All right. All right, anybody else come out here that didn't get arbitration? I'd love to find some cheap, younger relief pitchers. Doesn't look like there's going to be any out here. There's no young closers either. There were not a whole lot of young uh, prospect guys just sitting out here. 
So I couldn't go and backfill our organization that way. Did we finally get Rengifo? Nope. Can't offer because they don't have a spot, okay? What can we do? Revis, you're getting cut. Now I can offer him. signed his five-year deal good <clears throat> good 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 so we just have Yerpy to get signed Yerpy and Rengifo and we'll be done signing players Nationals Jeremy De La Rosa it's too old it's a pretty even trade but I don't need a center fielder And it looks like we finally got everybody signed. Yep. All right. There we go. Let me save this. All right. So we don't have any more free agents to worry about. Other than Rangifo. <clears throat> Trying to bring him in as an extra bench bat platoon guy. Allow us to keep Donovan in the outfield full time. <clears throat> and what he gives us is a good bat against lefties. Doesn't have a lot of speed. It's got passable defense. Um, he's a switch hitter. He's just a backup player. I don't mind overpaying for him right now. It's only three years. We're not paying a ton. <clears throat> we're going to have $25 million from Sonny Gray drop off. So we're going to have a little more flexibility. What, where are we at budget-wise now? We still have $60 million that we could spend. Um, so. Did he re-sign? Good gallon. Yeah, he re-signed. That was a very, very friendly contract there. Considering. Here's Fromber. He's only making 15 mil for three years. I want to bring somebody in on a big, long deal because, one, he'll be 37 at the time, and two, I'm buying time for these young players to develop and get into the high 70s, low 80s, and get them into the rotation. So, Sonny's gone after this year. Bueller's gone. He's got three years left. He'll be gone. He and Valdez will be gone at the same time. So now we're down to Bybee and Painter and Hentz and Cutliffe. And Roby. So, Roby might be too old, but the rest of these guys can come in, be the core of our pitching staff right here. Plus, anybody else that we happen to draft, this guy, he could work his way in as well. So, what did that say? Those are all arbitration. Okay. Contracts. So, just need Rangifa to sign. And what is this? Date is contracts offered. All right, we're good. Still hasn't signed. Chris Paddock to the Blue Jays. White Sox want to trade us. Sam Zavala. It's another fucking center fielder. I don't need a center fielder, although... He's 69, but I don't know why. 
His bat isn't good. <clears throat> good defense and speed and durability, but he has no bat. No discipline, clutch, power. Not going to make that deal. All right, Rangers signed Austin Meadows. Phillies. Oh, that's Vladimir Gutierrez. I was like, Vladimir Guerrero went to the Phillies on a one-year deal. Matzik to the Dodgers. Fulmer to the Braves. Garver to the Tigers. Montes to the Mets. Stanek to the Twins. Kelly to the Rays. Marquez to the Pirates. Madrigal to the Diamondbacks. Mauricio Dubon to the Orioles. Um, Trevor Larnock to the Astros. There's Paddock Sheets to the Tigers. Lorenzen to the Brewers. Mats goes to the Rays. Let's look and see if there's any other big name. Reese Hoskins to the Rangers. I'm going to tell you right now, I could trade a pitching prospect that's not very high overall and get Adolis Garcia off the Rangers. I can trade and get... I could trade right now and get... DeGrom off the Rangers. Look at this. Look how easy this is to get DeGrom. <clears throat> I could trade AJ Smith Shaver and get DeGrom. <laughs> He's going to regress. He's going to keep regressing, and he has three years left on that contract. So we're not making this deal, but that's how easy it would be to get DeGrom. Could I make this deal for. Adolis? Uh, he hasn't signed his deal yet. So. Trading in this game is way too easy. <clears throat> All right. Let's see what the draft lottery says. We are picking 25th. So we, uh, we will probably lose. I don't know if we're going to lose a draft pick for signing Valdez because he didn't. He wasn't qualified. If we had signed Gallon, we would have lost a second round pick. <clears throat> I don't think we're going to lose a, a pick for Valdez. So we're picking 25, which sucks. All the good players go in the top 10, top 15. So we're going to have to uh, discover really bigly, <laughs> discover some uh, position players. Look at the Rockies lost 115 games. My goodness. Look at their nine teams that lost 90 plus games last year. That's terrible. 14 teams were under 500. All right. Let's go to the uh, draft lottery and see if Colorado gets hosed. Yep. Yankees moved up nine spots. Like they needed help. Yankees go up nine spots to number one overall. Wow. The A's lost the most. They dropped four spots. Wow. Fucking Yankees get the first pick of the draft. They had 1.8% chance and they got it. <laughs> Turnbull goes to the Braves. Quintana back to the Mets. <clears throat> Loriano to the Cubs. All right. We have 39 guys on our 40 man. I am not going to participate in the Rule 5 draft. Um, it'll take me in there anyway. And let's see if we lose anybody. Logan Cerny goes to the Cubs. If you've been watching Fiend Franchise. Anybody out here worth taking? Boxcar Racer. Welcome in. Thanks for the follow. And 
don't see it. We are not picking and don't think we lost anybody. All right, so we lost it was no one, so that's good. Yep, welcome in. Yep, three one four here as well. Here, look, this is what we've done with this team. We won ninety games, and then lost. We beat the Cubs in the wild card and lost to the Braves in the NLDS. Central West End, yeah, I'm up north, close to St. Charles, but not in St. Charles. So, um, last year we won 101 games. And then we lost to an 88-win Giants team in the NLDS. I brought in Scherzer for one year. Pitched great, but he regressed really hard. Um, so here, I'll let you take a look at the roster. We just signed Framber Valdez. Three years, 15 mil per. Sonny's on the last year of his deal. We traded Goldschmidt and Carlson to the Indians for Bybee, Josh Naylor, and Nick Sandlin. And Bybee's signed stupid cheap. And uh, he won 13 games last year for us. Uh, we signed Walker Bueller last year to a four-year deal at seven mil per. Uh, we traded Michaelis to the Phillies and something else and got Andrew Painter. This was our first draft pick. Tink is at a 73. This was another draft pick. Roby, Yerpy traded Helsley to the Braves the first year because he was ass. Got Smith Shaver and an outfielder and something else. This was our second pick of the last season's draft. Um, just traded for Cano and Mason Miller. He's not as good in this universe as he is in real life. Traded with Toronto, got Jordan Romano to close. Made a deal with Pittsburgh and got Henry Davis. We traded Libertor to the Pirates for Henry Davis. <clears throat> Still the same here at second. This was our first round pick last year. Traded for this guy to hopefully step in when Arnado leaves. Got Mason still. Look at this. Mason Wynn had a... Uh, he, came, he came close to a 2020 season. He had 33 doubles and 22 homers. Um, let's see what's going on with my... Uh, Jordan Walker, look at this. <clears throat> 43 doubles, 7 triples, 36 homers, 120 ribs, and hit 300. <clears throat> um, Victor's just not progressing fast enough. So, Tommy. Yeah, Tommy's still on the team. Hit 271 with 17 home runs last year. Led the league at 38 steals. He's got, this is the first year of a two-year, $15 million deal. We didn't have anybody in center field to replace him, so he's going to stick around for two more years, and hopefully we can find somebody. My God. I can't read that, Jimmy. I'm going to turn off Discord. So that's where we sit. Uh, we're trying to sign Luis Rangifo to uh, be a bench player and uh, be somebody that can hit lefties. I have a little bit of uh, dearth and left-handed hitting on the bench. So <clears throat> well, we signed Duvall. Duvall is just a backup outfielder. Just gives us bench power. He had 23 home runs playing part-time with us last year, so not bad at all. <clears throat> Jack Peterson to the Braves. Kenny Piper signs with the Marlins. Kenny Piper's from St. Louis. He's in the uh, Tampa Bay Rays organization. He played baseball with my son. I helped coach him with his dad and one other guy. He's a double-A catcher for Tampa Bay right now. 
And Michael Keane goes to the Rangers. Ranger Suarez to the Guardians. Savali to the Yankees. Afflin to the Rangers. Rangers are signing a whole bunch of starting pitchers. Let's go look at those guys. They have Yuri Perez that they traded for. Michael King, DeGrom, Eflin, Evaldi, Flaherty. Wow, they're loading up on pitching. They are going all in. All right. The Rays, Bobby Seymour. No. No. All right. We got Ringifo. All right. Three years, 16 mil. We are done with free agency, guys. So JC's going to stay in the minors. He'll be up next year. In fact, yeah, he's going to be battling Martinez for third bit. What we'll do is uh, when Arnado leaves, we're going to move Gorman to third base. And that'll let us have this guy right here give him an opening to go play second base. We'll shift Gorman back to his normal position at third base. All right, everybody is signed. Except these guys. No offers for Kershaw, huh? Merrifield did really well for us last year. Hit 323. But not bringing him back. There's nothing out here. So, all right. Let's turbo sim. See if anybody else offers Will Smith to the Twins. Bo Bichette to the Marlins. All right. Let's look. Tehran and Velasquez to the Pirates. Any big names out here? Tim Anderson to the Orioles, DeYoung to the Orioles, Clevenger to the Mariners, Archie Bradley to the Orioles, <clears throat> Profar to the Padres, Kiki Hernandez back to the Dodgers, Jason Hayward to the Rangers. Rangers are loading up. They want to win right now. Gritchick to the Yankees. Michael Taylor to the Cubs. Chris Bassett to the Orioles. Margot to the Phillies. All right, we are done. Where did uh, where did Vlad go? He went back to Toronto. Okay. Goldschmidt's on the Marlins now. Okay. Some of these teams have nothing, absolutely nothing. All right. So this is where I need to go look at this. So Painter's going to come up. Yerpy's coming up. Smith-Shaver. So these three guys, 
Painter, Yerpy, Shaver, those guys are going to com compete for that number five spot. King's going to come up. Pedro, we got to get him off the 40 man. <clears throat> we'll do it right now. Yeah, we don't need all three of these guys. Um, all right, let's save right here. And then I'm going to go in and fix our rotation first. Yeah. This is going to be Fromber, and this is going to be Painter. All right. Yeah, your B is up here. All right. So what we'll do is we'll rotate these three pitchers through here, through Painter's spot. Here, so I want to get him some at bats. So let's do this. Now he can get in and get some at-bats in spring training. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to go player lock on that <clears throat> hitter that I just put at second base. And we'll skip, and then we'll go player lock with painter here, and then we'll just work our way through. Um as quick as we can. We've only been on, haven't been on for an hour, so we'll get some gameplay with these young guys, and then we'll start the regular season next stream. So, give you a little bit of gameplay that we normally don't do in the off season. So, not going to pitch with Fromber. We're going to play a lock. So, JC. Does he say that? I'm going to double check and look up how he says that because I want to make sure I say it right. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Spring training baseball coming your way. It's the St. Louis Cardinals going up against the New York Mets. Sue JC. All right. Sue JC. And we'll be back for the first pitch right after this. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's JD Martinez. On the ground, right side. Dove a little too early. <laughs> Just a little early. Just a little early. I hate these spring training uniforms. I need to have the number on the back of the uniform. All right. His first AB. This is JC. There we go. Into the gap. A gap -a. Nice shot to right center field. We're going to hold up. If he had more speed, I'd run it to three, but we'll take that. Kind of looks like Arenado with that beard. Bam. And the rope. All right, Mason. Knock us in, man. All right. So the batting order turns Tommy, two bags. Let's go, Tommy. Two outs. That one, the other and way. he grounds out. Sends it to first, and that is the inning. Here's Brandon Nimmo. 
All right, can we turn two? Double play ball to second. So Jay's one. There's one. Throw to first. Oh, oh he's safe. Looks like the weather could actually play a factor. You know, hustle down the line. Ball isn't hit hard enough. Yeah, it is. <laughs> We're up seven nothing in the fifth. Okay. Next A B. Ah, it was late. Rooker hauls it in to end the inning. One down. Now it's the second All right, seventh base. inning. Still up seven nothing. One for two. Let's see if we can get around on the pitch and pull it for a change. A bit high. This is our best hitting prospect, closest to getting the majors as well. He was like on the Rockies or the Marlins or Pirates or White Sox or A's. He'd be starting already. Uh, flinched. Stop. See the pitch, man. See the pitch. Couldn't wait. Here you go, guys. If you like NCAA football, we have a head to head user league. A bunch of uh, Twitch streamers are playing head to head. And uh, we will have a game tonight at 7 30 Central Time. Myself, my North Carolina Tar Heels will be taking on the fantastic duos Michigan Wolverines, 7 30 Central. Come check that out if you like NCAA football. All right, bases loaded. Come on, Henry. Park one. Let's go. So two down and stepping in for the Cardinals, Henry Davis. Gets under That's not parking one. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. So up next for New York, Tyrone Taylor. Here's the 0 2. Grounded to third. Could be two. Beats the second out there. There's a double play. There we go. And one more at bat. Two on, two out. So one for two with a double and a walk. Has he got another double? Get over his head. Get over his head. Oh, he ran it down. <laughs> we were up seven to nothing. Okay, we win. We lose. I'm oh, sorry. We were losing seven to nothing. I thought we were winning. Never mind. Never mind. Sonny Gray got lit up. I'm also going to change how I'm doing my streams once we get into the regular season. Um, I've been doing... Playing one full game and then doing a bunch of player locks. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to play two games... So I'm going to play a game early, then we're going to do some player locks, and then I'm going to play a full game to end it. I'm, I need to go back to playing the game, playing full games. I used to play three full games, and that was it. So we're going to play two games and then do some player locks. And we might we might uh, go down to the minor leagues for those player locks so you can see those guys more. Um, that's, that's what I'm going to do. All right, Alcantara. I'm just gonna sim that we lose one to nothing. Sim that we win four to one. Two hits for Gorman. One hit for Sajacy. Three hits for Sajacy. He's hitting six twenty-five in the spring. Two doubles. All right. 
Sinet lose nine to one. Another hit for Jay Steen is hitting six hundred. All right. This game we're gonna player lock with the pitcher. All right, get to face the Red Sox. Look at that, five straight lefties to start the game. <clears throat> and welcome to Baseball City, MLB. All right, just about set to go. And today on the hill, Andrew Painter. Try to stay back for that power change. This dude is tall, too. He's really throwing me off with his huge the angle of his pitches. Hard time staying back. High fly ball down the left field line. And that dropped foul. The 0-2. A little pop fly in shallow center. Get there, Tommy. Run, 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 run. There we go. I hate the fact that there's no numbers on the back of our jerseys. Will Brennan up next for the Red Sox. That one misses. Ball one. One out. Base is empty. Clips the outside corner. And it's one and one. Got him. There we go. And two away now. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Raphael Devers in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. Swing and a Chase that shit. There you go. Two out spaces empty. Come back with a changeup. Ooh, just got a piece of that. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a pop go get that. Come on, Nolan, get that. There we go. <coughs> Hitless first inning, I'll take that. New inning getting started. Stepping in the long ball threat, Tristan Casas. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Casas. 26 years old, a former first round pick back in 2018. That catches the outside corner, and it's a ball to strike. The pitch. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Oh, that high four seam fastball has become such Ooh, a great clip the bottom of the zone. I'll take that. Finish hitters off. They're trying to stay back with two strikes, make sure that they can handle something off speed and just with good spin rate, good rotation through the zone, elevate it a little bit, get a lot of swings and misses. And that's a really nice job right there. Popped up, drops into the glove, and there's two away. Two outs, space is empty. And stepping in for Boston, Vaughn Grissom. That was a good, hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. And ball one. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. No score here in the second. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Get him to chase. That was a nasty curveball. That was a filthy pitch, man. Three go to Red Sox. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. So stepping in for Boston, Sidney Rafaela. And the slider just misses. There's a strike. And a curve Ooh. misses outside. Next offering is in for a strike. And the righty deals. 
in the air right field puts it away for the out stepping in Connor Wong that one finds the zone it's 0-1 top of the third no score that clips the corner he doesn't seem to like to pitch up hasn't offered on either one of those pitches 0-2 count now I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there. Ripped to short. Toss to Naylor. That's it out. Here's Trevor Story. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. And a foul ball. Two outs. Got him. There we go. Perfect three innings. Take that. Welcome back. And now on the mound to start the fourth. Sunny Three two, the final score. A one run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB the show. I'm John Chum. See you soon. What about the pitching? It doesn't go far enough. So many pinch hitters, it doesn't go to the there's theirs. Why am I not being able to see my pitching? All right, never mind. And we went three perfect innings, so it was a good start by Painter. <clears throat> Tyler McGill, Cement. Let's go back and play with JC. Hitting 437, he's cooled off just a little bit. Another rain game, jeez. Now up for St. Louis, Thomas Sajazi. On its way to the corner. And it gets into the corner, but it's foul. Strike mm. two. No ball, two strikes. Broke under the bat. standard high O2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you'll look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. To third. Over the bag. You beat that out. Just missed. And that'll do it. A little faster and that's a hit. Nothing doing there. One out, base is empty. And up next for St. Louis, Thomas Sajazi. Oh. To center. Just missed. How can he pull a ball that's just late? I don't understand. And we're back. All right, four nothing lead. Thomas Third different Jason. pitcher. Swing that was a nice miss. slider. As he was out front that time. So JC looks like he looks like Arenado. Good eye right there. We haven't seen a break in the weather, and the umpires might be forced to make a decision soon. Yeah, I think so, Boog. I mean, everyone looking and wondering when they're going to stop play. It definitely feels close. Garrett brings it in. One up, one down. So up next, Thomas Sajazi. No for three with two fly outs and a ground out. Late with the swing there. Oh, one's the count. Late on that fastball. Tardy. We were tardy. Let's go. Get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. Two down, nobody on. Here's the bottom half of the eighth inning. That one misses. Now one and two. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner. Ah, couldn't hold up. Strikes. And it's a good three pitch. <clears throat> Your final 4 2 for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB the show. Thanks for stopping. All right, not over the home run. Everybody pitched well at Barlow. Let's go check out some stats real quick. All right. Leads the team with seven hits in the spring. Gorman, home run. Arnado, home run. These guys are all struggling. 
Gray, Valdez, Yerpes pitching well in relief. Smith Shaver is nut. That was our one start that we made with Painter. Miller's doing well. Barlow's not. So. Let me check my scouts. I lost a scout. God damn. Son of a bitch. We lost our good pitching scout. That's not good. Well, we'll go with this guy. So, we'll get good scouting on pitchers and hitters. This is our discovery guy. Is that 25 thou? Can't afford him. We have a cheaper scout for discovery. He's 95. It's the same price. This guy's better. All right. So he's going to work on Max Yang's going to work on pitchers, and Sonny Moffitt's going to work on hitters, and Ronald's going to work on discovery. I'm glad I came in here and checked it out. He'll be on a trade block. Arenado. It's fine. Naylor's fine. Edmund. Good. Walker. Keep him on defense. Gorman. I'm going to put him to contact. I want to make sure he hits the ball. He's there. There. Donovan's fine. Newt Bar. Sonny. All the pitchers are going to be Contreras. That's fine. Pitchers are all on per nines for the most part. Let's move Rangifo to... Put him on fielding. Cano's fine. Duvall's fine. Painter. Let's move him to pitching clutch. There we go. Davis. Put him on defense. Put you there. Pitching clutch for Barlow. Yep. Mason. We're going to go with pitching clutch for you. Yes. Yes. Victor Scott. Yep. Pitching clutch for him. Tink. We're going to go pitching clutch on you. Yes. Tacoa is going clutch. All these starting pitchers that have low pitching clutch are going to get pushed to pitching clutch. Elijah, Marcelo, Herrera, we'll put you there. Sellers, clutch, clutch, contact. Let's see if we can get a little more power. And yeah, you're going to go pitching clutch too. Yes, yes, yes. King. Gomez, Yanni.
Okay. Let me save this. I'm just going to fast sim those two games and I'm going to swap out Painter. So now we're going to uh, player lock on Cooper Yerpy. He just had a 14 strikeout game in the minors the other day in real life. <clears throat> First pitch moments away and towing the slab in this one, Cooper Jerpy. Chris, how about a Jerpy? It's a Most hard J, okay. To command the game. He's got to limit damage, make his pitches, and avoid that big inning. If he can work around that, he can give a quality start, hand this off to the bullpen later Former first-round pick by the Cardinals. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. The one-two. Got him on that slow bender. Had him out front for strike three. Here's Alex Kirilov. First pitch just misses. Fought off foul. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. And a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Fouls it off, still one and two. Left hand hitter waits. Got him. Down looking for the strikeout. Fastball to letters frozen for strike three. And up to the plate is Will Smith. Well, there appears to be no problem settling in on the mound out there today. It looks pretty tough to start this one. Punching out the first two hitters of this ball game. Ground it short. To Throw to first. Ball. Scoop by Naylor. One, two, three. There we go. Second inning set to go. Down the third baseman, Royce Lewis. Right through there for a strike. Curveball over for a called strike. Way out in front of that pitch. He was way out in front of a fastball. All right, let's see how far out in front of a changeup he is. Grab up the middle. Scoop by wind. Throw to first. Got him. So digging in, Seiya Suzuki. That one's in there. That's strike one. Oh, here's a fun fact for you, Boog. Suzuki is the first Japanese-born player to homer in three consecutive plate appearances in the majors. Feel free to use that note in your next Cubs broadcast, buddy. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. And here comes Carlos Correa. Off to a strong start, Singy, as he's punched out three of the first five he's faced. Well, he's definitely minimizing contact. He can get the swing and miss when he needs it, but he'll also keep the defense fresh behind him, allowing some balls in play as well. Headed down the line. And it gets into the corner, but it's foul. The wind of the pitch. On the ground, right side. Gorman throws on to first. And Correa retires. And welcome back to the ballpark. To the batter now, Aloy Jimenez. First pitch misses. Jimenez getting the start in left, hitting seventh in today's lineup, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Edmund in position, and it's caught for the out. Here's Byron Buxton. Right through there for a strike. When you examine Buxton's career trajectory, the thing that really jumps out the Got a hold of that one. That's going to be extra base hits. Left that curve all over the middle of the plate. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. 
Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. I'll tell you, man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a ball. Come on, Tommy, go get that. <clears throat> there we go. Makes the grab on the run. And he's up to third safely with two balls. This is Willie Castro. That one's in there on one. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. Battling here as he fouls it away. Try to get him to chase on the change up that time. Wouldn't chase that time. All right, a little hockey glove save there, save the run. And it remains one nothing. Out of the fourth, now it's the Twins DH, Alex Kirilov. Just off the inside edge. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. And now maybe extra bases. Did not put that ball where I wanted it. He's got a leadoff double in the fourth. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. Smith in the box here, lets that one go for a ball. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, a head 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. And a foul ball. The Twins trailing by three, top half of inning number four. Ground ball up the middle, toss to Naylor. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. That's a good piece of hitting right there. It's early, but you still want to move the runner up and give your team a chance to score. That's exactly what happened, so you better believe Ooh. your teammates are happy with you after that at bat. In the air, out towards left center. Sack fly, it's okay. I'll take one run over four innings. Eleven to one. Offense turned it on after we left. There you go. Four innings, two hits, one run, three strikeouts, no walks. Doesn't really have blow it by you kind of stuff. Smith Chauver's just not doing it. Um. <clears throat> Let's bring him into that last spot and see how he does. Go back to Sajazi. <clears throat> One down. Playing third down now. Okay. This will be good. For the Astros. And a bunt towards third. Barehand scoop. Gathers and throws. Got him. There we go. Just strong enough of an arm to get him. And he looks so much like Arenado in his uh, player model. All right, losing three nothing. Next up for the Cardinals. That one ripped right center field. It's gonna get caught because it's so deep in that spot. And stepping in for the Cardinals. Losing eight to nothing. My goodness. Sharp 
Get through. There we go. Finally pulled a ball. Hitting with him everything to right right center field. All right, Tommy, see if we can get this through the infield. Now a high fly ball out to left center. McCormick sizes this one up. He's got it. And that is out number three. Looks like it'll be a pinch hitter, Henry Davis. And our final here today, 8-4 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew. Here right, one for two. I'm John Shelby. Thanks for joining us. Bybee got lit up. That's not good. <clears throat> All right, Painter was able to pitch in that game. Sim with Walker Bueller to get a 6 1 win. Home runs by Martinez. Herrera, too, by Contreras. Everybody pitched well. And Smith Shaver, let's save. Save our progress. All right, this is one of the guys we got from the Braves in their Helsley trade. Let's see how he pitches. about set and today's starting pitcher AJ Smith Schauber what's the word on him well that 12 to 6 curveball explodes out of the hand and because he's able to throw the high fastball at the top of the strike zone for a strike hitters commit to that pitch and before they know it they're swinging over the top of that curveball here's a 1-1 and that one fouled off Here we go. Get that pop up. Arenado drifts towards it, and there's one down. Gonna have to have a little more discipline in future at bats. That pitch looked good, but you can't hit it. It was just too high in the zone. You usually see a swing and miss or weak contact in the infield. Jeff McNeil batting with one down takes a strike. Late swing, foul to the left. One out, base is empty. Next offering is downstairs. Fights it off, you'll see another. Inside just missed. It's a good take. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. One down, base is empty. On the ground to the left. Quick start to this afternoon's action. Two gone. Here's Brandon Nimmo. And a strike in there. Yeah. Swung at a pitch in the dirt. Ball bounced. There we go. Top of the second, and now J.D. Martinez. I have no problem pitching with any of these three guys. We, we pitched a little bit with Painter last year. It's not always the easiest to control because the angle of his pitches being so tall. But that's off the mark, and that's ball one. That one fouled off. Yeah, I think Painter's going to be in the rotation, and the other two are going to AAA with Tink Hens. JD with back-to-back -back 50 home run seasons with the Mets. If I'd have known that, I'd have picked him up myself and this one in the air. made him our DH. <laughs> 
just live with Walker's defense. Now at the plate, Francisco Alvarez. Little chopper rolls foul. Big swing and a miss. Gets a piece and stays alive. One down, base is empty. And that's in the dirt. Fights that one away, still one and two. Hater deals. And that one upstairs. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have Got to be disciplined so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. So two down now, and here is Ramon Urias. Splits the plate, strike one. Swing and a miss as he was out front. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just going to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. Nope. Just missed. A really good take, especially with two strikes. Got him. There we go. Yeah, both these guys are good. All three of these pitchers. And we're back. Now it's the veteran outfielder, Max Kepler. Foul ball. Kepler, 33 years old, and he was born in Germany. Sliced hard, but foul. And a pitch. Totally missed my spot. On the ground to third. Good hit. That should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. The throw in. Not going to get him. He's in there. Everything came together for him. He smashed that ball the other way and kept it fair down the third baseline. Did an excellent job of just throwing the barrel at the ball, even though he was a little late on it. And now two and nothing. Runner in scoring position. Nobody out. We're here in the top half of inning number three. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2-0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. And another ball. And that's ball four. What's up, Tight Spot? How you doing, man? He's making things difficult for himself right Welcome now. Welcome in, man. We are but, you know, in spring training pitching with uh, this, some guys that are going to be Competing for the number five starter spot. And that's a goner. Um, and one of our uh, best minor league hitters. Left that pitch over the middle. How are you doing? How's your wife? Here's Francisco Lindor. That misses the zone. And that's ball one. Can be tough to bounce back after big home run, but nobody on. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. That one hops against the fence. Lindor into second, and he's got a double. This was a really nice swing. Didn't quite get enough behind it to get it out of here, but once it got over his head in left field, it was extra bases all the way. Pitch misses there, and it's one and one. With the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered, he's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. Getting better, good, good, good. Man at second. Uh, and he's struggling a little bit. He might end up being a uh, relief pitcher because he gets into three innings, he starts getting hit pretty good here. More about the game tomorrow. Yeah, I, like I said multiple times in the past, the only thing I care about is gameplay. I don't care about anything else. All the rest of that stuff is just dressing. Window dressing. I don't care. Game doesn't play well. I'm not going to spend a lot of time playing it. Pitch 
pitch misses, and the count is two and two. And a ground ball to first, and he handles it himself for the out. That's a good piece of hitting right there. It's early, but you still want to move the runner up and give your team a chance to score. Shit. Just took my head off. Yeah, Smith Shaver's going back to uh, AAA. He's not going to make the roster. chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. And he deals. And that one fouled off. Martinez, the runner at first with one gone to the inning. Good eye in that spot. Clearly, he hasn't had it in this game and looks like sooner than later. Three, six, three double play. All right, well, that was not the best outing. He's still in the game. Wow, why is he still in the game? the top of the fourth and stepping in for New York, Ramon Urias. That one finds the zone. 0 oh, 1. Right through there for a strike. Quickly into an 0 2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. Walker tracks it down for the out. Now batting Max Kepler. Foul ball. Base is empty, one away. Top half of inning number four. Just missed. Off the mark there. And a count, two and one. On the ground at first. And it stays There's no way that was fair. And that rolls into the corner. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he's got his second double of the game. There's something about pulling one down the line and shooting it through the infield that's just so satisfying as a hitter. It's just fun turning on a pitch like he did right there. And it's second. Now this is in the air down the line. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory. That was big. Falls it in for the out. Boy, that was a hanging, breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. And that's through there for a strike. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat, drive in that run. You may not have another runner in scoring position the rest of this ball game. Out to short. Gathers and throws to first. All right. He should be done. And there's an arm on the mound to start the one run game here today. Your final score, seven to six. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Shopey saying so long. The final line score for the Japanese Yeah, that was not as good as the other guys. <clears throat> He's been struggling, period, so we will see. Put Painter back in the rotation. Look at Donovan hitting 440. My goodness. So JC's down to 275. Victor Scott's just not doing it. Fromber, everybody's got high ERAs except for Painter. Bullpen's better. Barlow's the only one struggling. I mean, look at these, look at these ERAs. So our bullpen should be really strong this year. So One more time with Painter. Jerpy pitched against these guys, so let's see how Painter does. Jerpy, sorry. Kept saying it as a soft, but it's a hard, so it's Jerpy. What do we need to know here about the right-hander? 
on jerky with a P. So for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches to pick. Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. It has the distance gone. Shit. That was up and away. It's 2-1. That could be one of those swings that really helps spark this offense. Alex Kirilov stands in now and watches strike one. That one ripped but foul. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up and you start to expect a big inning. And a swing and a miss. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. You know, the danger with the slider is leaving it out over the heart of the plate and getting contact on it. If you're going to miss, you want to miss towards the corners, not in the middle. Right there, he does a great job with hard break at the end. He ran it inside. Very difficult to do anything when you're tied up like that as a hitter. Up and in, and the count is 2-0. Oh. This is a batter who clearly performs better in day games. I don't know why, but his numbers generally back it up. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. And he takes a strike. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. One down, base is empty. Good plate appearance there. Chase, that's okay. Able to take the walk. Now, this is a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. Fly ball down the line. And that's a foul ball. This one in the dirt, and an excellent job keeping it right there. Man, at first one away. Go, right jammed him. Field. Man, his motion with men on base is stupid fast, so that's going to be an issue. Eloy Jimenez now. That one a little bit high. One and oh. The swing Helped me out like that. Way out of the zone. That one finds the zone. One and two. Smith, the runner at first with two gone. Next offering misses down and away. Just well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset. Right here. So first and second with two outs. And now it's going to be Seiya Suzuki. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. Next pitch is downstairs. He's trying to stay down in the zone, but the hitter just will not chase. Now back in a 2-2 count, he's going to have to go to something else to get him out. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first. Oh, second. my. Looked like it was a little bit up. So both runners should be on the move here on the full count pitch. There we go. That was a long inning. That ends the inning. As soon as the guy got on base, man, his motion got really, really quick. And it was hard for me to control where it was on the meter. And that should be extra bases. Around first what happens when you throw a changeup right over the middle of the plate? Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And now it's even up. Swings, fouls it off, and he breaks his back. The Twins down by a run, bottom half of inning number two. Here we go. Needed that. Keep that run from advancing. Contreras <clears throat> calls it in, and there's one away. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Carlos Correa in the box now. No balls in a strike. Shortstop takes the ball. This hitter's been seeing good velocity in the at bat. He's kind of set up for that changeup. He hasn't seen it yet. Looks just like a fastball out of the hand. 
Buxton. The runner at second with one away. Oh man, I jammed him and fuck. that was a good pitch and I got penalized for it. So some concern there. Try to get him to chase on the change up that time. That one miss. On the ground right side. And it goes just foul. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Here a law. Had it for the second time, and that's strike one. Lifted in the air down the left side, and that's a foul ball. Gorman. They take the force out, and that's the inning. All right, that was better. And we're back. Bottom of the inning. And now the catcher comes up to him. Will Smith. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Smith hitting third in the lineup. And he's a former Silver Slugger recipient in the National League. Right through there for a strike. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt. In the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Toss to Naylor, leadoff hitter gone in the third. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup got that hitter to roll over. Lewis in the box for the second time. One ball, no strikes. Fouled off, he was late. And here it comes. That clips the zone, and it's one and two. There we go. Got that cutter going. Forgot that he had a cutter. Here's a boy Jimenez. He had a strike. Two outs, bases empty. Right through there for a strike. That one just misses. It's a good take. There we go. Much better. Much better. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready to go. Bottom four. Now it's the right fielder. Seiya Suzuki. On the ground. Gorman throws on the first. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Here's the center fielder. Byron Buxton. Right through there for a strike. There's a foul ball. And a swing and a miss. And there's two down. Yeah, Painter's going to be our number five for sure. The batter, the batter now, Matt Walner. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. He'll come down to Jerpy and Tink, Tink Hence for uh, the number five next year. Is in the scoring position. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over. Correa in the box now. Take strike one. Walner at second with two down. And a foul ball. He stays alive. That one down the line. And foul ball. And a pitch. Up and in, now one and two. Runner at second, two down. And he grounds one to the right side. Toss All right, I'll we'll take that. Correa. And we're back. Here's the second baseman, Edouard Julien. And that drops in for a strike. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. That one finds the zone. That's strike two. Swing and a miss. That's a strikeout. 
couldn't catch up to the heater. Good late cut for the strikeout there. That thing really got in on him. And, you know, the cutter isn't really a huge swing and miss pitch most of the time because it's not really meant to move a whole lot. You're just trying to miss the big part of the barrel and maybe get some weak contact. But that one right there did a whole lot more than that. That was a really good pitch. The batter now will be Will Smith. That's a rocket. They threw that right down the middle. They fired it quickly. <clears throat> So it's first and second with only one away. A couple now of singles back to back. Yeah, thumbnail. pretty much middle middle and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter so no surprise Gorman off balance speed there's one not in time no way he was going to get to on that one Aloy Jimenez the next twin up to him in the air pretty deep out to all right pitched around it in position he's got it and that'll end the end back down for the bottom of the six and there's a new one-run game here today, your final score, 7-6. to six. A one-run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. We'll see you soon. All right, five innings. Gave up six hits, but only two runs, two walks, seven Ks. Not bad. Rough start. Survived that 44-pitch first two innings, so... He's uh, is different pitching with men on base with him. So I want to get a pick up the a uh, photo of him. And uh no, we don't. We're tired of rain. Um, and I'll sim out the rest of the game. I just want to get a photograph. <clears throat> Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Francisco Lindor. The wind to kick the pit. That one catches the This game gets started. Never seen this mode. Next oh. one in the dirt. One and one. I got what I needed, so. Three. Yeah. Three. Yeah. I'll just watch it this way. Big inning. Grand slam. <laughs> wow. Not good.
Closer comes in and promptly gives up a double and a home run. Wow. Where are we at? Right at two hours? Yeah. We'll just wrap this up. We're going to give uh, Cooper Jerpy one more start. We'll just sim it. We lose 8-3, to three, but was it his fault? It was okay. Not great. Mason Miller got beat up. And, um, hmm, who are we going to put in this? Where are we at? So, yeah, we're going to give this to Painter. We're going to let him get one more start. Solidify that. And we'll just sim it. And we lost three to two, but how did he do? Six hits, three walks, ten strikeouts, only two runs allowed. Okay. Look at those final stats. ERAs were a bit high. Painter had the best ERA out of the uh, whole staff. 27 Ks in 20 innings, like that. Miller got tagged. These guys got tagged a little bit. He got better. He got tagged late. His walks are going to be a problem. All right, so this is where you need to send your guys down yourself so that the computer doesn't do it wrong <laughs> and screw things up. Um, do not rely on the computer to do this for you. So you're going to go to AAA. You're going to go to AAA. So we've got our five starters. Double A, double A. Trip three, four. Four, five. We need a double. We need a AAA starter. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. We're going to slide Lindsay up to triple A. So one, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. So King's going to triple A. He's going to have to go through waivers. He might get claimed. Um, Perez, we're going to put him in triple A. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Major League Double Triple. Ooh. Well. We're going to do this. We're going to send Henry down to AAA to play every day and leave Herrera in the majors because he's out of options. And Pajes is going to go to AAA. You're going to AA. These guys are going to triple A. You're going to triple A to start. 
I'm trying not to sneeze. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. All right. Morelvis. Yeah, you're going to AAA. You're going to join him. Send you to double A. Send two guys down. So you're going to AAA. And you're going to AAA. <clears throat> All right. So we have 26 man, 25 active. Is that right? We need one guy. So we're actually... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So actually, I need to have one of those guys not go down. <clears throat> Let's see. One, two, three. All right, 26 everywhere. Now, contract extensions. We can sign guys to extensions right now. We're going to let Sonny go. We're not going to bring him back. Duvall's not coming back. Barlow's eligible for arbitration. We can deal with him in the offseason. Not going to bring Ramirez back. <clears throat> Herrera, we'll deal with him in the offseason. Tolio, we may trade. King, so we'll we'll just deal with that. So to the right, these are guys that are going to be free agents at the end of the season. So Garcia, Bednar, Tariq Skubal is the big name right there. Let's go to the Tigers. I'm not going to sign him, but Skubal is the big, big boy right here. 92 overall, but he is 29 years old. 200 strikeouts last year. So... Let's save this. All right, off to the regular season. And we are going to start at home against the Mets. Go to Miami. A lot of home games. Braves, Cubs at the Royals and Angels. Texas and Miami at home. We go to Oakland and Colorado. <clears throat> I'll tell you right now, we'll probably play a game at Oakland so we can go back to our old ballpark because I changed the right field stands in that treehouse park. So we'll go to Oakland as our second game. Our first game will be opening day against the Mets. And then we'll play our lock in between. <clears throat> so... Let's get through there. So now we are Framer Valdez against Kodai Senga on opening day. Sonny Gray and David Peterson in game two. Bybee and Manaya. Bueller and Cabrera. Painter and Braxton Garrett. So what I'm going to do is I will play this whole game. 
And then we will player lock with Andrew Painter <clears throat> to make that start. And then we'll mix in some hitting stuff to do a lot of simming. Um, get another start down here in Oakland. So that's how we'll do that. It's our budget. We have $30 million that we could spend if we needed to. <clears throat> Here's the trading block. Zach Neto. Some catchers out there. And free agents, Kenley Jansen. <clears throat> Kyle Gibson's out there. A role as Chapman. Merrifield's out there. All right. PPI list. These guys are prospect promotion incentive, so we're not bringing up Santiago. Not going to bring up any of those guys. Hence has a chance later in the year. Roby would have a chance later in the year. Um, Painter's going to Painter and Win are definitely on the uh, roster. So if they do well. That might get us an extra draft pick. Um, this closer is the number one prospect. Okay, Cubs have a third baseman at a ball, but he's only a fifty-one. This is the guy that was first overall in the last draft. <clears throat> Bill Corona, 59 overall. He's not going to see the majors for a while. There's Painter at 19. Sellers, that was our second pick that we had in the last draft. Just got to get his clutch up. Elijah Green, he just needs to get his hitting up. Cutliff was our first first-round pick. He's just got to get his per nines and his pitching clutch up. <clears throat> How old is he? He's 19. He probably won't be up until he's 21, 22. At least. This guy will probably be in the majors as soon as next year. Arenado gets hurt here. So Jay-Z will come up. There's Tink. Tink's got a little more a little more room to go. This guy can't hit. Tink. We can get that hits per nine, walks per nine, home runs per nine, clutch. and get all those in the 60s. He'll be good to go in the majors. Yeah, he's close. It's his walks per nine that are killing him. Victor Scott, he's got to get his contact in the high 60s at least. At least. And there's our first round pick this last draft. Francisco we just traded for. He's all bat, no glove. Durability of 35, so he'll get hurt. And uh, let's go to Oakland and see if it shows the right field stands. Yeah, it doesn't give me a good picture. I can show you guys. Let me save this. I will go out. So you guys watch my A's franchise. You know, we, we made that park retractable dome for the A's. And uh, it's Treehouse Park 2.0. So they have this new futuristic uh, stands that they've added to the stadium creator. So we replaced all the old stuff with the new stuff. So I got rid of all the ads and all the other stuff. We added more club seating out here. Got an overhang over the top of the upper deck now, so they're in shade. And uh, added some grass with trees and shit up here. Moved the numbers over a little bit, but that's what we did in right field. Just replaced the uh, old seating with the new seating and put a, a fenced gate over here for that. And we also 
push this left field wall back to the stands because it used to come at an angle from here straight over there. So we pushed it back, added a little uh, angled section to the wall right there in the corner. They have some new fans that are, uh, you can put standing fans around. So we added those, put them up here. Now you can hit some fans that are lined up to get concessions. <laughs> So that's what we did to that park. <clears throat> so anyway, Specta. I'm playing uh, FAM tonight in um, NWO, 7.30 Central, North Carolina against uh, Michigan. So I need to uh, do one more thing before we go. Arnado, Gorman, Walker. This is going to be Newt Bar. Okay. Painter, good there. Okay, no, it's going to be Sandlin, Merrill Thompson. All right. Ventera, welcome in. Who's going to be this guy? It's Brantley. All right. And down here, you're going to be him. You're going to be him. You're going to be Lindsay. Perez is going to be Smith Shaver. King. All right, so we can go hence. And that's what we're going to do there. And double A, triple A, we'll just let the computer pick that. All right, it says we have the number one team for contact, the very bottom for speed, but we got power, defense, pitching, and we're ranked number three. So we have the third best team. Third best team. And uh, we won't be able to get in to look and see who the prospects are until we get to through this game on the fourth. Then we can start looking at our prospects for the draft. Remember, we're picking 25th. So. All right. I'm going to call it a day. A little over two hours. Got to go get some other work done and practice up so I can play fam tonight. So. Who is out here? We can go raid. <clears throat> Let's go raid. Uh, tight spot. He's playing NCA, so we'll we'll hit up tight spot. Send you guys over there, and uh, you guys have a good rest of the evening. Come back to the NWO tonight, and uh, watch that head-to-head -head game. get this raid started and I will catch you guys uh, check your notifications I don't know I don't think I'll be streaming tomorrow um, I might but I kind of doubt it so it'll be next week then so anyway thank you guys again appreciate you and I will 
talk to you guys later on. I'll see you over in tight spots whenever this raid is ready to go. So you guys take care, and I will talk to you later. Thank you.